Hi there. Uh, I'd like to share with you a book that, as a kid, um, was very inspirational to me. The Ladybird book here, uh, Making a Transistor Radio. When I was, I don't know, nine or ten, um, I remember seeing this book for the first time. And it inspired me because it showed how simple a radio receiver could be. Uh, and that even a kid could build one of these things. Um, very interesting and very sort of simple explanations as to how radio works, how a radio receiver works, tuning, detection, amplification, um, how you read a circuit diagram, uh, a little bit of theory on the tune on, on the tuned circuit, um, and then the crystal radio set. And I remember looking at this diagram. And then actually looking at, uh, well, this is interesting because it, it even explains how you, using a sort of plank of wood and some brass screws with screw cups that you can attach the components without soldering. Um, how you wind the coil, the 36 uh, standard wire gauge uh, wire on the ferrite rod. Uh, it was this that got me, this image. So this is the crystal radio receiver, ferrite rod open gang tuning capacitor a diode and then uh, an earpiece dielectric earpiece uh, very very low capacitance microfarads um, but how simple is that I, look, I remember looking at this thinking my god that's all you need to basically tune in and listen to the radio forever it doesn't require a battery just requires an, 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 an aerial and an earth uh, I'm thinking wow that's so simple even I can make one of those and ultimately I did uh, I, this book was in the library when I started secondary school when I was 11 and I can remember at lunch times after I'd eat my lunch I would go to the library and look at this book and read it over and over again and then go back to lessons at 1pm. One, at 1 um, the antenna and earth and explanations as to how you would do that, copper piping etc uh, and then an experimental prison of war radio where you if you don't have access to a diode you can effectively make one um, by using a small piece of sort of clean coke uh, and, a, and, a, and a simple contact. I thought that was incredible as well, you could, that you could actually make a diode rather than one of these germanium uh, or whatever they were, I can't remember what the designation was. Um, so I thought that was amazing. And then an explanation of, about the operation of a transistor, uh, how you would add a transistor um, to amplify uh, to effectively amplify the uh, the signal, uh, it says it should make a big improvement. Same stations will be heard, but they'll be much louder. And then the resistor code, biasing the transistor, adding a second transistor. Uh, okay, and then an overview of the second transistor stage. I mean, this is all getting sort of quite complex. And then adding a loudspeaker as well and then finally regeneration where the uh, simple crystal stage is uh, replaced with a transistor stage and an explanation as to how that works so, and then adding regeneration of circuit and then wiring excellent images I mean that is a superb image isn't it I mean Someone's gone to a lot of bother to paint that image for this book. Superb. I think that's part of the reason why I've loved this book so much. And then using the radio. Um, and there you go. There it is in its final form. I'm sure. I'm, I've looked on online actually, and a lot of people have actually made this radio and actually photographed it and put it online. Uh, it's incredible, really. But uh, I, yeah, this book was a, a real inspiration. As I said, I can remember seeing it in secondary school I was aware of it before then but I, I used to go to the library at lunchtime to read this book over and over again but it was this that got me a, a, a crystal radio with very simple components that you could build yourself um, that wouldn't cost very much uh, and you can listen to the radio using that um, and so I managed to find a copy of this book uh, online and bought it um, and I'm sort of glad I did really and uh, because this was probably the first the, this was probably the first book that uh, really inspired me with radio there are obviously many others that followed but this was the first one um, and you can still pick it up for a few pounds online uh, I can't remember how much I paid for it now but it wasn't a lot uh, and uh, it's
it's nice to actually have it here. And uh, you know, it'd be nice if I could get my kid to uh, uh, my son interested, or my daughters. So uh, there you go. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.